Hi guys, welcome to the second last of my craft fair day-to-day um, -day back to back tutorials for a week. This is day six and it is Saturday. So today we're going to make a little pencil gift using this two by eight cello bag. Okay, now I don't have pencils, so for the purpose of this tutorial, I am going to use two Stampin' Blend markers and wrap them up nice. So, I'm going to use um, Shaded Spruce today, which is one of the Regals collection of colours. And I'm also going to decorate it with the Regal 6x6 DSP, this one here. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to cut a sheet, a slice, which measures one and one and seven eighths of an inch, okay? And the reason it's that width is because this is going to be inside our cello bag, like so. And then our markers are going to go in there too. All right, so what I want to do is I need to score it. Well, first of all, I'm going to trim it down to 10. 10 centimetres, okay? And then I want to trim, not trim, score it at just under, oh, damn it. I've cut that, let me get another bit. Not silly sausage. Start again. Don't worry, I won't waste the other bit. Right, one and seven eighths. Trim it down to 10. Move your blade out the way. And then score at two. Okay, so, fab. Now, this is really easy. You're just folding this over, okay? This goes in here, like so. Now, you could do this for any size of cello bag. You just need to measure the um, the width and the height of it and then take a, a seventh, an eighth of an inch off so that your DSP or cash top fits inside. Now you will see, I'm just actually going to use one marker, like so, and this will be closed and decorated. This would be good as a gift to one of your teammates or something, if you were in the process of recruiting, like I am. Okay, so we're going to decorate this. So let's take this stamping blend out. Normally what I do is I put three um, motivational pencils in here. Um, and I would, whatever colour the pencils were on the outside or whatever design, I would coordinate the colour accordingly. So, uh, let me get my corner rounder though. Now this bit measures 2 inches by 2 inches. I'm just keeping it in the bag to let you see. So what I need to do is I need to cut a piece of this. Now I'm using this side which is a script and this needs to measure... Um, one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. That's the only piece you need for decorating the top part. So make sure it's the right way round. And whatever's the bottom, we need to corner round it like we did with the bag. Okay, so I just need to apply some glue on there now. Like so. And these are fabulous little gifts for uh, craft fairs, etc. Now what you can do is you can uh, buy pencils in packs of nine or ten for a pound. Say it would be names in a pound shop. Decorate it up and sell those for double what you paid for the pencils, two pound. So you're going to make quite a bit of profit off of that. Right, now what I need now is... I have some ribbon. Is this the right colour? This is Tranquil Tide. But I think that goes quite nicely. So I will use that. This is a, a, a retired product. But it is velour. And I think it will look really pretty on this. Okay. So if I grab my glue dots. my adhesives. What I want to do is I want to decorate this and I want to keep it really really simple. So let me see. 
I would like, I think I would like a piece of very vanilla to go with this because I want it nice and cool looking. Not too much of a contrast, so there's my very vanilla. Now, oops, it's not what I want. Now, I already have some one and three quarter inch discs punched out, so I think I'll go with that for this project rather than the pretty label. Now, I will punch out another area here using my starburst punch. And I'm using the Starburst Punch so that I can get more of a, a contrast between the two, like so. And that is going to go on there. Mm, no, I've changed my mind. I'm going to use my 2 inch punch for a bit of green, I think. No, let me see, Starburst Punch for the green, that's the first layer. Then I'll get a piece of very vanilla with a two inch. Oh, I'm doing that wrong, let me start again, put that to the side. I will not waste them, I promise. God, I can't get my layers the right way round. I want Starburst, where is it? I think I'm going off my trolley. So that's layer one. Okay. Then we want two inch punch in the patterned paper. And then we want one and a three quarter punch for the stamping layer, which is very vanilla. And I already have one of those cut. So if I adhere that together, I want to see if the contrast looks nice with a little bit of white, or if I should actually keep it like so. Yep, I think I'll keep it as it is the same. Right, so a little bit of glue on there. Fabulous. And I want to stamp something on here, so let me let me go for an old stamp set that's still actually current. I'm going to stamp thank you. I'm going to stamp that in um, this green, which is, what colour is it again? Shaded spruce, or is it garden green? I can't remember. Shaded spruce, I think it is. Yes, it is shaded spruce, and I can't find my ink. Shaded spruce, where are you? Nope, can't find it. So I will just have to make do with the garden green. It'll be a nice contrast anyway on the um, berry vanilla. So I'm going to do You Are My Sunshine. And I'm just going to pop that right in the centre, like so. Slightly off. But how cute. Let me try that again. Now, someone's been cleaning my stamps with tissue. That's what's made the little mark there. Right, now, if I raise this up slightly, make it look a little bit more prettier. And where is my dimensionals? Found them, found them. Oh, there's flash flood in there in our county today. I'm recording this on Friday, so yesterday technically, because this will be played on Saturday. Um, and the water was right up coming in our garage. Scary, scary, scary stuff. How gorgeous is that? Now, I'm going to actually um, you know, put that there. I think, yes. That looks great. Now, what I want to do, I want to pop in my stamping blends. Let me see if I've got a green that matches. Yeah, let's go with a garden green. Dark shaded spruce, rather. Pop that in there. Now, all we need to do to attach, well, to keep the lid shut, 
is I've got some super cute little silver clips. Now these aren't stamping up. Um, these are just spare ones, but it's just to show you how you would um, close that there. Okay, so it's very pretty. Now, what I want to do, if I remember right, I'm not actually going to use this ribbon. I have changed my mind. I am going to use the Garden Green and... No, I'm not. I'm going to use Fairy Vanilla. Um, Baker's Twine. This is Cotton Baker's Twine. Now what I want to do, and you could do this however you wish, I'm just going to... Oops. Let me cut a bit. Where's my scissors? Where's my scissors? Where is my scissors? Oh my goodness, what am I like? Where's my tools? Oh, here they're. See, too many boxes. Look, I've got dimensions stuck to the bottom of them and everything. Let me put them back on. I don't want to waste them. Right, so I need my scissors. I'll just use any old scissors <clears throat> to cut this. And what I want to do is I want to wrap this at an angle so that it crosses like so. Okay. So it crosses. Can you see that? crosses like so and what I'll do is I'll sneak that under there and I'll sneak this one under here and I want to tie a little bow okay so let's um, make sure that that is still in a crisscross however it works out it's just it's going to be cute anyway I'm not going to over. Looks you can't even tie a bow. Right, forget the crisscrossing. I've got a few layers on here. So I just want to tie, let me get this centre. I just want to tie a little cotton twine bow. Like so. Isn't that sweet? Fab. Now, if you only had Whisper White, that would go smashing with this because, um, like I say, everything does coordinate in this. Fabulous range. Right, so I want to attach this now. And I'm just going to attach this with some wet adhesive. Right, so that looks pretty straight to me. How beautiful is that for a gift? Now, can you imagine that in pink, petal pink or balmy blue with some unicorn coloured um, pencils in there for a little girl or some dinosaur pencils for a little boy and that is simply how easy it is now at one point you were getting these um, cell bags in the clearing track but I think they're all gone now but luckily I, I got a packet um, but you can you can um, find your own online they're 2 inches by 8 inches um, or something similar um, right guys so that is basically another little craft fair idea now obviously I'm going to take my pen back out of here because no one's getting that that's mine um, but yeah thanks for watching and please do tune back tomorrow for the very last one where I'll um, go over all the little projects of the week take care guys thanks bye